it was a real dilemma. Mm. But I said, okay, I, I am, this is not good, mm. uh, but I have to leave mm. and do this thing. Mm. Now, there's a story in between here. Okay. And that story is Smile Train. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. That story is Smile Train. Smile Train. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, when I came back from South Africa mm -hmm. and I joined Nation Media Group mm -hmm. in 2007, mm. that was August 6th mm. when I joined Nation, mm. by end of that year, mm. I got a call from Headhunters for Smile Train International. Mm. They were looking for a regional director mm. for Smile Train for East Africa. For East Africa, okay. And somebody I worked with at GSK mm. had given them my name. Mm. So they said, we want to do this. Mm. I remember that point, very interesting. Video conferencing mm. was a unique oh, yeah. asset. Like yeah. no one had, yeah. nobody. Yeah. And, and now the interview, these people are in New York, they yeah. need to interview me, yeah. they need video conferencing. Yeah. They bought video conferencing time. My goodness. In a, I think at this, in, in Ilri, at Ilri. Yeah. For an hour. Yeah. And I had to travel to go to Ilri for my video conference interview. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is 2007. Yeah. At okay? the end of 2007. Yes. So yeah. I remember the video conferencing. I had to wait. There was mm. another interview before. Mm. Wait for your time slot. Mm. You know, when I look back at Zoom now, I'm like, the world really changed. It changed it's completely. <laughs> exactly. and I could have done the whole interview on my phone, yeah, on WhatsApp. From like, yeah, yeah, from wherever. You're you know? on the beach. You're exactly. Having... <laughs> and I do the interview. <laughs> now I had to plan time to go to this video oh, conference site. Oh, my goodness. So I did the interview. They're like, we want you to mm. take up this role. Mm. And I'm like, well, I was doing these interviews out of interest yeah. because I've just joined a job actually yeah, yeah. and I can't leave. It's By this time, like, eh? I like the job. Yeah. We've started restructuring yeah. distribution. Yeah. I'm now a member of the senior management team. Mm. I was in a real dilemma. Mm. So I said, uh, well, I can't take the job. Mm. But the money was very good mm. and the job required me to work from anywhere oh. because they didn't have an office. Oh, I'm in charge of East Africa, travel, yeah. this is what we need to do, engage mm. with governments, uh, provide free cleft surgery, find mm. doctors, we need to train them, mm. we, uh, we pay the money directly from New York to mm. the hospital and they treat a kid. Mm. It was very kind of very exciting. And I was taking me back to my to, field. To be actually being a doctor. To actually being a doctor. Actually. Like, I manage a oh, doctor because I'm not treating, Yeah, but I'm now connecting the kids yeah. with it. Hospitals and it's an interesting are. sort of like cleft. It's cleft. I, I mean, you it's, treat, you yeah. change someone's life yeah. overnight. And those are those are unique areas. They're you unique know? areas, and yeah. it requires community mobilization because yeah. the communities where these kids are hidden. Yeah. And because of the stigma. Yeah. You know, the communities are not bringing out these kids mm. because when families have children with cleft lip, mm. they hide them. Completely. It's a disaster up to now. So it's gonna, it's gonna get some of the interest areas that you have like connecting with people Equity, outreach public health yeah. outreach yeah it is actually the consciousness that you are, you've had all along is gonna ride on it it's gonna ride on it but i've just taken a job oh. i've been relocated from south africa back here so how do you make a, how what decision did you make it was very difficult mm. but i made a decision to actually leave the nation and join this job it but this is the first conversation you had was in 2007 i no, it, yes, I've joined, the, it's 20, 2008. All right. I joined Nation 2007. Yeah. It is now maybe end of 2007 or early 2008. That they're like, having the, that they're having I'm having this conversation with, with me. Yeah. Like around January yeah. 2008. Yeah. And it's very difficult. So I say, mm. this is everything mm. that I have wanted. This yeah. is what I've been doing. Yeah. But I am also respectful of the fact that Nation Media Group has just hired me. Yeah. They've me from wherever and yeah. brought me in. Yeah. And um, it was a real dilemma. Mm. But I said, okay, I, I am, this is not good, mm. uh, but I have to leave mm. and do this thing. Mm. So I went to my boss then, mm. who was Linus. Linus, yeah. I said, I'm so sorry, this is really difficult, but I have to leave. Mm. And he told me I can't leave. You can't leave. Because the work we've started needs to be done. And, and I told you. him, and I remember him saying, you know, you know, like Terry, you are, um, if it's money you want, you're going to make money. Life, you know, you still, I was how old then? I was 30, I was 37, mm. going to 38. Mm. So he says, they're giving you more money, yes, it's a job, but let's finish this. You mm. will still, mm. 
And I, I'm like, no, I made a decision. Mm. I don't believe in negotiating with mm. employers, mm. really, and saying, no, you know, mm. I don't believe in that. Mm. And my advice is, don't. You know this thing of you find a job so that you use it to negotiate your... Yeah. It's a bad, it is a bad culture. Yeah. It yeah. creates mistrust. Even yeah. if you, they give you the extra money... After that, it will be funny. They, no one trusts you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So I said, I, I have already made the decision. Mm. I've accepted. Mm. So I'm going to resign. Mm. And I wrote a resignation letter. Mm. The day I took it to him, mm. he took the letter, mm. cancelled across the letter, mm. and wrote rejected. I still have a copy of that letter in my file. He crossed across it, rejected, and said, you're not going anywhere. I told him no. Yeah, because I'm hearing you in 2009, you're in Uganda in the same way. Yeah, exactly. Wondering. So, <laughs> so he refused. <laughs> okay? Yeah. And I told him, well, you refused, but I've already accepted, so I'm going to leave. So... It became kind of a very difficult two months because now I've given three months notice. Yeah. And then one day he called me and said, you know what? Mm. Those people need a service from you mm. and we need a service from you. Mm. Why don't you talk to them mm. and see how you can give them advisory? Ah. And you stay here. Mm. So we kind of had an agreement. Brilliant. And I said, okay. I talked to them. Mm. They were like, that works. Mm. Um, because there's no fixed office. Mm. If you need to travel, see the government of Uganda, go. Mm. Then I told Linus, I'll use my leave time mm. at Nation. Mm. So it works. Mm. Because he was a flexible manager mm. who understands people. Mm. And that's also an important lesson that mm. as we move forward, mm. career-wise, we have to work with what we have. Mm. We have to know that talent is no longer fixed. And you know, yeah. you're saying we're doing hybrid work in yeah. COVID. Yeah. We have to, all those fixed hours, mm. we debated yeah. uh, flexible time. Mm. COVID, we have not debated flexible time. You just say flexible it has time come is the only way to work. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So flexible thinking then, mm. he was that kind of a person. Mm. So I said, fine. Mm. So what I did, mm. and actually very interesting that we are having mm. this conversation, mm. is serendipitous. Because today, mm. in the business daily, mm. the person who is now vice president of Smile Train in Africa has actually been interviewed by Steve Biko. Oh. And in the opening paragraph, yeah. she said, I am the one who introduced her to Smile Train. Oh. And I'm the one who, went, who made her enter the work of Smile Train. Oh, my goodness. Today, you, you know, Today it's we, the business we daily. can yes. make sure we get a screenshot Today. of that. It is actually very interesting. Yeah. Why, why so? Because when now I took up this role, mm. now I have a dual responsibility. And I didn't want to fail Smile Train. And, you, and I didn't want to fail you, Nation. Your role at Nation. What did I continue? do? Yeah. I went back to a younger doctor. Yeah. I, you know, I knew them because I was their senior. Yeah. And I asked one of them, do you mind backstopping me for the small train work? I'll mm. pay you. Mm. <laughs> and I hired her from the government and paid her from my pocket. Mm. And I paid her every month a fair amount of money mm. to do the work. Your work. So that if there are partners to meet, yeah. she'll do that on my behalf. Yeah. If there's trouble to be done, mm. unless she's going to see a senior government yeah. officer, yeah, she in which case I need to be there, yeah. she'll do that. Yeah. And I paid her out of my pocket yeah. for probably a year and a half. Yeah. Over that time, yeah. we did, and then I hired somebody, yeah. a personal assistant, yeah. to actually do my email, my office work, because yeah. I was not there. I was yeah. at Nation. Yeah. And I'm a senior person at Nation. I'm mm. a general manager. Yeah. So that needs to be done. Yeah. So I had two people mm. paying out of my pocket mm. to now run mm. the small train office. Mm. Okay? Mm. And then I would give them guidance. Mm. A question. Yes. So with Linus, you've had the conversation. Yeah. With with the person, with your to-be boss at, at, Smile, at, train. at, at Smile Train, yeah. have you had a similar had a conversation? conversation? So yes. it's open on both it's ends. It's open on both so ends. So there is no... there is no Nothing. And that's beautiful to It's know. open on both sides. Yeah. And I'm like, this is what we have. And you are go I'm going to deliver. I'm going to deliver. deliver. Yeah. And you know, the Americans, mm. one of the cultures, the American culture is capitalist and very toxic. Yeah. But if there's one thing you have to give it, yeah. it is management by objectives. Yeah. Yeah. That... We trust you. We are hiring you out of... Oh, that is so brilliant. I exactly. love that a lot because... They have that culture. Money yeah. member objective. And yeah. that's why their labor laws mm. are also non-protective mm. against employees. Mm. Because the day I feel you're not delivering, mm. 
there's no massaging yeah, the yeah, losses yeah, you know yeah, yeah. let's do yeah. pip we, let's do performance we have seen improvement that we are not going to work so, so, so it's not working uh, please so, leave your laptop yeah. don't come tomorrow yeah. it's as simple as yeah, that yeah. and up to now that's how the labor laws are yeah. that's why they don't even have maternity leave yeah. because they're yeah. like it's about performance yeah yeah which is really negative. Yeah. So they have a lot of toxic features. Yeah. Yeah. But that management by objective, yeah. for them, mm. are we delivering? Yeah. Are we giving children free surgery for yeah. cleft? Yeah. Are communities benefiting? Mm. That's all. And, and it's across, I mean, that's in the health field. It's across that way, across all other fields. Exactly. You know? That's so, the way it is. Yeah. You know? Beautiful. So Beautiful to just hear how that came up. Came that's up. how that came up. Yeah. So mm. I employed two people, mm -hmm. put them in the office, mm. and now we started working. A peer and a doctor. A peer and a doctor. Mm. Today, mm. that doctor I had and paid out of my pocket mm. has never left Smile Train. Is now the senior vice president in charge of medical programs globally. At Smile Train. At Smile Train. So that's the person who's written the feature. Initially, she today. came in as a volunteer, as a, as my employee. So she was she was on. She was not a Smile Train employee. No, she was for my, a year and a half. She was like your yes, person. Yes, you know. Yes. <laughs> the PA, you didn't have an agency, you are just no. you ensured at the end of the month I she, paid out of my yeah. you uh yeah. she's not late on her payment, you're paying her. Exactly. And so did the PA. The PA yeah. is currently program director in Africa. For a smile trade. Yes. Oh. From PA. Oh. <laughs> From PA. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> The one <coughs> is Dr. Ethan Joroge. Yeah. That's the one who's written the feature today with Biko. Yeah. And the other one is Jen Gigi. Oh. That was 2008. And they have never left Smile Train. This is just what, 15 years exactly. later? Wow. Exactly. And again, wow. now the lesson to reflect on hmm. is about spotting talent. Yeah. The talent is not about degrees, mm. education, mm. you know. Mm. Have a lot of respect for mm. your PhD. Mm. That, if it's not coupled up yeah. with a mission orientation, mm. can be useless. Yeah. But if it's coupled up with a mission, yeah. then it's multiplier. It does. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. But you must look at people's potential. Exactly. When I hired my PA mm. at that point, mm. I had a thousand applications because I put a small ad in the newspaper saying, busy executive looking for a personal assistant. It was one of those like this That's that it. you pay 160 shillings. Yeah. I got Flags. so many CVs. So Flags. the job issue has been there. Yeah. Flooded. Yeah. I couldn't go through all of them. Yeah. I sifted. I just found a few. Mm. Called. We met. Mm. I looked at her. I'm mm. like, this is a person with a good heart. You'll I connect. said, start on Monday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Start on Monday. Yeah. Then this other one, the mm. same. Mm. Start. They have never left. So they have actually stayed mm. and built smile train across Africa. Wow. Even after I left. Wow. Okay? Wow. So anyway, <clears throat> so that's how I continued working with Maltrain. Mm. I'm now at Monitor. I'm a nation. I've been sent to Monitor. Mm. Smile train, I'm still overseeing, but mm. I have a team. Mm. And then I continued. Mm. We did what we did at Monitor. Mm. I started the Monitor Bus. The Monitor Bus. Monitor Bus mm -hmm. was a mentorship program for students coming out of um, primary school. Mm -hmm. We picked the best mm. in Uganda mm. out of all their 12 districts. Mm -hmm. Picked two, a girl mm -hmm. and a boy from each of the 12 districts. Mm -hmm. At that point, they had 24 districts. Mm. Now I think they are 150 something. <laughs> oh, Kenya so, is better. Yes. So, so <laughs> With I picked, devolution. So had, exactly. Yeah. So we had 24. <laughs> mm. And then we started to sponsor their high school mm. and also to mentor them. Mm -hmm. So I call that the monitor bus. Mm. And the reason I said the monitor bus was because the monitor newspaper mm -hmm. had a, an opposition tag mm -hmm. in Uganda. Mm. It was the opposition paper. Right. And that, whereas that was good mm. for election time, mm. it wasn't good for, for its sustainability, business sustainability. Yeah. Mm. So we needed to bring it to the center, mm. you know? Mm. So, and I thought now when we start these social programs, mm. we'll bring it more towards the center. Right. So that's how I started the monitor right. bus. Right. And we had these kids, mm. and we actually, mm. you know, developed mm. that over mm. time. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I stayed there for three years, mm -hmm. and then I said, now the mm -hmm. job for Smile Train mm -hmm. had grown from East Africa mm -hmm. to Africa. Mm -hmm. So they had actually asked me to take over East Africa, mm -hmm. North, North, mm -hmm. no, not North, West. There was mm -hmm. a director there, mm -hmm. there was a release, and mm -hmm. one in South Africa, mm -hmm. also to take over mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. So now I told Linus, now mm -hmm. I think I've done enough, mm -hmm. so let me leave. Mm -hmm. So I left Nation at the end of 2011 mm -hmm. to now take over Smile Train mm -hmm. full time. Okay. Yes. So I took over Smile Train full time now from 10 to 12. Mm. And now we continue to work. Mm. At this time, mm. I decided I'm going to start a business. Oh. 